her speed and black history. We have Sarah Smith on the phone. She is the volunteer run director for the Webster Grove School District Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Well, first tell us who Ivory Crockett was. Well, Ivory Crockett is a history in Webster Groves um, and in Brentwood. He's actually a graduate um, and from Webster Groves High School and has the fastest 100-yard dash in history and still stands uh, to hold that record of 9.0. Well, how will the district plan on honoring him? Because I see a whole bunch of other runners out there, too. Yeah, there are a lot of runners, and so every year for the last 17 years, we've had the Ivory Crockett Run for Webster, which is a fundraising event um, for the Webster Grove School District Foundation. Now, the district seems to be drilling down on teaching kids about racial equality and black history. There was uh, a rally a little bit earlier this year. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, we really are. For a number of years, we have wanted to have the Ivory Crockett Run for Webster go through and pass north into North Webster to the Ivory Crockett Park. And unfortunately, due to some significantly busy streets and railroad crossings, we have been unable to do that safely. Um, um, but this year, we are able to have what's called the Crockett Challenge, which is a 5K run that is all in North Webster and is quite the challenge because of the amount of hills um, in that neighborhood. So we're really excited to be able to do that this year um, as kind of a reinvention um, given our current state and not able to do um, a run together like we have in the past. I was thinking about that. So this is a virtual run. Uh, most virtual runs allow you to pick any course. Uh, you guys are really challenging athletes this year. How does the run work? So the run is um, a variety of options. You can have an unlimited amount of runs, 5K runs that you can do, and we have a route from every single school in the Webster Grove District. In addition to that, we have the Ivory Crockett Challenge Cup or Challenge um, that we're going to do, and and then all of those participants will be put into a pool and will be a possible winner to get $30 to spend in the Webster Groves business area. So we have that. But in addition to that, we have what's called the scavenger hunt. Um, we wanted a community piece because this is a really wonderful event that brings together all ages. Um, and so we wanted an option for the younger and families um, that would want to do an activity together. And so each school will have their own scavenger hunt available um, for people to participate in. Well, the Ivory Crockett run will go through October 31st. Again, this is a virtual run. We will have a link on fox2now.com. Sarah Smith, thank you so much for joining us.